<clears throat> now, when it comes to ritual, they weren't done. And there's there's many that, I, this is why I need you guys, you guys need to, to do your own homework. You need to educate me. But I know for, I know in my heart of hearts that the entire George Floyd episode with the big old crystal glass coffin and all the protests, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh, that was ritual, guys. Pantomime is the highest form of ritual. They are patterning. They are creating a, a, they're creating a pattern. Anyone observing a ritual is a participant. So this is what happened with, with George Floyd. I can't breathe. It's all part of the ritual. The ritual didn't end. They just keep adding accretions to it. So January, January is when several things unfolded at the exact same time. Several things. In January of 2020, we already know the whole world stopped. Lockdowns everywhere. Mask mandates going on. Fear-mongering. Doomsaying. All these people putting out projections that this was the new normal. People were shocked. But as this developed, an awakening occurred because when one kingdom moves, the other is equally empowered. Remember, this is a very old spiritual con concept. There, this mass awakening, 2020 was bad for the collective, but for the individuals, this wake, this, this scales were removed from the eyes. In January 2020, On January, I don't know, this is weird, but on January 14th, a music group named Black Clover released a, released a song called Breaking the Seal. No, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On January 14th, the show Black Clover debuted an episode called Breaking the Seal. It was a TV program about the devil's soul word magic. Is that evidence in and of itself? No. So we're going to continue. On January 21st, the CDC announced officially that the first case of coronavirus had entered the United States. That's the CDC. On January 24th, 2020, a, group, a music group called Ghost in the Machine released a song called Breaking the Seal. A television show and now a song, both called Breaking the Seal. Ghost in the Machine is very weird. You can, you can look this up online. I listened to it and I did not like it. There are no words that can be understood, but you have the feeling that something is speaking. It, it feels to me that it's AI generated music. There are no lyrics. To me, the song is subliminal. It's called Breaking the Seal by Ghost in the Machine. Ghost in the Machine is AI. So... January 24th, 2020, NASA's Stennis Space Center hosts a massive celebration in honor of the 50th year since the Apollo missions. Apollo 1. There's that Apollo again. Of course, we can chalk that one up to coincidence, but on January 30th, 2020, the World Health Organization declared coronavirus a public health emergency. Apollo had struck. In January 2020, throughout the entire month, 
the Apollo Belvedere statue, a famous statue in the Vatican Museum, was fully restored. You can't make this stuff up. It's the famous Apollo Belvedere. So, at the end of this video, at the end of this video presentation, every single fact that I just enumerated for you is going to be posted in the description box. I want you to copy and paste it. I want you to share it with people. You can't make this stuff up, guys. This is my presentation. January 2020, the first seal was broken. The first, we're already three years into it. Guys, it's been 43 months. And we're just now figuring it out. Because remember, the greatest truths are always found in retrospect. It doesn't hurt my feelings knowing because I've already been knowing since 2004 when I began publishing about the sixth seal of Revelation is an event that has happened multiple times in world history. And when you look at the exact dates for those multiple times, you find out that 2040 is the next time it'll happen. And this is the premise to the Phoenix phenomenon, all this research that, that until even now, guys, you know, for their shoddy research. And I've been inviting people to scrutinize mine until this date. Not one person has stepped up to the plate to challenge me on the veracity of the bibliographic citations and chronology of the Phoenix phenomenon. And I'm telling you now, they're not going to. They would be made a fool of. I would overwhelm them with data sets. I'm equally confident now that January 2020, the first seal was broken. We're well into, we're well into the apocalyptic period. We're 43 months into it right now. And this explains this awakening that many people are feeling. This is why the scales are falling off the eyes. Guys, before 2020, the elite had an iron grasp. I'm talking about they had us in a vice couldn't talk, couldn't say this. You get, you get deleted. You get your channel deleted. You get kicked out off of Google. All these things were happening. Then in 2020, it seems like there's been a massive pushback. Hollywood's taking hits. The banks are taking hits. Uh, uh, all these famous people, elitists, they're all taking hits. All these liberal, all these liberal pundits that have been supporting all the paradigms that have been foisted upon us by these globalists and by these extreme liberal, liberal uh, institutions that don't want to do anything but take countries apart to globalize everything. There's a major amount of pushback back, but it doesn't matter if that pushback is going to be successful. Hell, even the first seal has said that he's trying to conquer. It doesn't say he will. I'm just, I'm just trying to call to your attention that since January 2020, a lot of people were afforded the free time to stay at home and start thinking and start realizing certain truths to start understanding the world that they were in is not the world that they were taught they were in. This is the subject matter to my channel. This is what I always talk about in archaics. The world is not what you think it is. But the lesson and the great takeaway from all this is that we're putting these pieces together because when the darkness makes its move, there's a corresponding power that empowers those that resist it. That's where we're at right now, guys. It's nut cutting time. It's time to decide who you are and where you're going to be. Are you going to be with the darkness and take the easy route? Are you going to be on the side of the righteous, which are only righteous in name and not in spirit? Or are you going to be the errant? Are you going to be the individual? Are you going to be the immortal who is here as a watcher to observe, to grow, to learn, and to pluck those from the mire that actually, actually respond to the word? Because you don't have to be a participant Seeing all this unfold is spiritual libera spiritually liberating to me. I feel empowered. I feel, I feel way stronger than I did three and four days ago. Just knowing this now, the apocalypse has begun. 
we're 43 months into it. And it explains all this craziness. It explains all these. Remember, remember, guys, the author of confusion is doing his job. This is what the media is doing, throwing every narrative out that, that you just, it just wants you to grab one. It doesn't care. It's dungeon programming. It does not care what you believe as long as you believe it when it comes to the dungeon programming, negative default programming, when it comes to all the false paradigms put out by the darkness. It doesn't care. What it does care about is those of us who refuse to pick a side because this is a world of duality. And with duality, polarities are pushed on us. You're going to accept this. You're going to accept Republican or Democrat. You're going you're to accept this. You're going to be a globalist or a nationalist. You're going to accept this. You're, you're either going to be multicultural or you're going to be a, a, a racist. You're going to be a white supremacist. You're going to accept a paradigm. It's going to continue to push them on you. What it can't stand is when you just say, I'm not participating. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm a highly individualized, immortal being, and I'm not going to let you take my power. I am me. And when you say that I am me, you're basically admitting that you're extension of the oversoul. And as an extension of the oversoul, you put yourself into a position of invincibility. There's nothing that can mess with you, but you got to walk it. So this is my presentation, guys. I'm on fire because I found all these things about Apollo. I put all these things together. Everything makes sense to me. There is no more confusion. I'm not confused about what happened in 2020. I'm not confused anymore that I couldn't see this in my, in my chronological studies. I'm not confused anymore. There's no more distress as to what this whole narrative and pandemic was about. None of that. I get it now. I get it. I'm on board. I'm waiting for the next seal. Yeah. I'm on board, changed the trajectory of my research. I now know what I'm looking for. I now understand that the Judeo-Christian interpretation of the first horseman is wrong. It was misdirection from the beginning. The darkness is so clever when it uses the false light. It's so clever. It's why we missed it. It's why we missed it. And now with this new understanding, I'm going deeper into the book of Revelation to find what I find because it's all about the Greek. Thank you.